film tax credits, can they be sold? They can be sold right now, yes. They okay. can be. So it's different than what we talked about with the uh, job creation tax credits and others. Must they be sold to someone in the industry that are going to use those credits here in Pennsylvania? I think they have, they have to be used in Pennsylvania because it's against Pennsylvania taxes. So uh, it does, doesn't necessarily have to be within the industry, uh, is my understanding. So technically, someone that's in the filmmaking business gets these tax credits, and they say, well, our rest of the year we're going to be working in California or wherever. Uh, let's just go and turn those into cash, and we're out of here. That can be done? It's based, yeah, it can be done right now under the, under the existing program. <laughs> We might want to think about a way of tightening that up so that if we're going to put tax credits out there to make films, they should be making films with those credits rather than to somebody that's not making films. After all, the name of the credits is right. tax and, film credit. And, and we think that if, there, if there's an opportunity maybe to have uh, 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 refunding uh, or if... Um, there might be some ways that we can do that. And, and we've, we've had some thoughts about that that we'd probably want to share with the legislature going into uh, the next fiscal year. I anxiously await your ideas on that. Thank you. Um, I don't mean to keep beating this dead horse over and over and over again, but nobody actually put real numbers to the minimum wage question that's been going around. So let me, let me try to do that. And I'm going to make a hypothetical based off of a real situation, so I don't want to name names. And there's, there's a hypothetical gentleman that owns 10 fast food restaurants, and he has some, he has some adults, obviously, but he, he basically offers high school students from all over the area, from many different high schools where his fast food restaurants are located to learn how to earn and appreciate a wage, a job, okay? And let's just say between those 10 restaurants, he has 24 per restaurant working part-time on and off throughout the week. So total of 240 children, we'll say, not children, but high school kids. Um, and let's say the average wage is $9 an hour, which is about a buck 75 above minimum because he pays decent wage you know, for high school kids. Let's just call it an average, hypothetically, of $9 an hour. And we're gonna bump him up to $12 an hour per student that's working at his stores. So if you take the 240 students at roughly 20 hours part-time per week, which comes out to about 4,800 work hours times three for a $3 an hour bump, you're looking at about an increase in his salary that he has to pay out straight the raw salary at $14,400 per week, multiplied by 52 weeks a year, comes out to seven, $748,800 per year in raw costs. And with Social Security, Workman's Comp, and other related costs of having employees, we'll just multiply that by 1.5, which is general rule of thumb what businesses use. Uh, you're looking at a, a total increase just for that $3 an hour bump for this one business that employs a bunch of, that gives an opportunity for a, a, a lot of high school kids to, to earn some money of $1,123,200 per year. Now, that comes directly off of his, out of his profit, unless he wants to raise the price of his product, which is either controlled by the franchise or is controlled by who's gonna go there to buy products from him, and I would make, I think we could all make the argument that if he does that, if he raises the price, he's not going to sell as much. Therefore, bottom line is, we basically either just put him or those students out of business. So what message would you have me pass along to this gentleman or those students from the governor that we just put you out of business because he can no longer afford to keep you working? I, I don't know that I can answer that uh, right now. Um, again, as I, as I mentioned to the other uh, representative who, who had a similar uh, um, example, we, we would love to be able to sit down with uh, that, uh, that business owner and discuss it. 
directly with the business owner uh, so we can really understand what the issues are uh, related to what they're going through.